So guys, don't forget to hit up my clinical rotation playlist. Um, I will leave a link for that, but you can always just go ahead and type it into my search bar if you're searching for what I'm doing on my different rotations. What's up you guys, it's Adana. Welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I am at the beach here at beautiful Ocean City. I'm on my weekend because guess what you guys? I have weekends off on this particular rotation, which is amazing. Um, so I get to go hang out with my family and just kind of relax and get away and just rejuvenate, which is something that you you kind of didn't really take advantage of during didactic year because you were just studying consistently and continuously. But now with rotations around, you have a lot more time to kind of study during the week um, because you're not being bombarded every single week with tests and quizzes. So that is one thing I really, really like about my rotations. Um, I get to kind of spend it out here and just relax and have fun. So if you're on your clinical rotations or looking forward to clinical rotations, you're in didactic year, fear not. <laughs> your time will come soon enough. You'll have that break. You'll have some time to just kind of chill out um, like me here on the beach. So fear not, you guys. Hang in there because <laughs> you're almost there. I am on my rotation, my cardiothoracic surgery rotation this month. And I have just finished my first week, so that's what we're gonna talk about, my first week on CT surgery. So really and truly, I had an amazing time. Um, we're in the actual surgery, like me suturing and doing stuff on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays, we're actually in the clinic seeing patients. So it was pretty interesting, because the first day I'm there, I'm seeing patients right away, like looking at CT scans, which I'm not the best at. So I'm getting a lot of practice on this particular rotation, which is really, really interesting and really cool. Um, it's gonna prepare me for future rotations that I'm gonna actually have to be looking at CT um, scans a lot more often. So I really appreciated that. Um, another thing I really liked about this were just all of the people, because a lot of the people that we're seeing are cancer patients or people that had cancer and they're now in remission so it's really cool just being able to talk to them um, kind of just get a little bit of their life story and then kind of keep it moving after that but one of the most like I guess saddest parts of this particular rotation is telling people hey we found a mass in your lung and it is suspicious for cancer we can't definitively say it until we go in and do surgery but going in and giving people that news it's really hard other than that it was pretty cool I went into surgery on Tuesday and Thursday we were doing lobectomies actually like resecting people's whole lung or like pneumonectomies which was interesting like seeing the whole process it's done through video assisted techniques so we're doing it like under an actual like scope and we're going in and we're cutting and then I'm closing yes me I'm doing my hand ties I'm suturing um, they allowed me to close up like the two more superficial layers which is really cool because I'm like I'm just kind of one month out of didactic gear and I'm already suturing people so it's been quite a ride. I've had a great time and I'm able to spend my weekend here at the beach, chilling out, having fun, um, but still I have to go home and do work. So it's not all fun on rotations. You still have to study, you still have to do work, uh, but so far so good. I will keep you guys posted um, in another three weeks on how my whole rotation went. I'll give you my wrap up on that, on what I maybe kind of sort of saw at the end and then what um, I'm really looking forward to on my next rotation. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you have any questions about CT surgery, like something specific, leave it in the comment section below. And if you have any questions on anything else, please let me know. Um, don't forget to comment and like and follow me on Instagram at PA. I will see you guys and talk to you guys next time. Bye!